What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So The Rock's had quite the Friday, hasn't he? Jeez. The Rock drops a pretty scathing promo on Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Now, this promo was much needed just because he pretty much just filled all the plot holes that WWE had with the storyline. Now, there are a lot of things that didn't make sense about the Bloodline storyline and Cody Rhodes. For instance, Cody wins the Royal Rumble, points at Roman saying, I want to face you, and then just a few weeks later, gives his spot away to The Rock. Now, Cody's reasoning behind this was he had some counsel from a few people backstage. Out comes The Rock, and then you know the story. So after all the We Want Cody chants and the We Want Cody hashtags, Cody Rhodes then interrupts The Rock and Roman Reigns promo, promoting their supposed match at WrestleMania. So in a lot of people's eyes, we're questioning, why did Cody give away his spot at WrestleMania just for him to then take it back a few weeks later? Now this caused even more confusion about whether this was always the plan or if WWE had to change plans on the fly. So if you don't have time to watch the whole promo, let me break it down really quick. So this promo pretty much explained everything that happened from The Rock's return on January 1st all the way up until today. And at the time of this recording, it's March 1st. So he promises January 1st that there are going to be big changes. And he delivers on that. He joins the board of TKO. And he also returns to semi-weekly television. He explains after becoming a part of the board of directors. And after Cody won the Royal Rumble. That they all talked to Cody backstage. And he agreed that The Rock versus Roman Reigns was best for business. Now this is interesting because Cody actually is one of the faces of WWE. If not the company spokesperson. So agreeing that that matter match would be best for business isn't out of the realm of something Cody Rhodes would do just because he is such a for the business type of guy. So then he finally answers the question we've all been wondering. What did he whisper to Cody Rhodes that night that Cody just gave his spot away? Apparently The Rock said let's put on a great Wrestlemania for your father and for my father. Now I still don't know how exactly Cody was supposed to do that if he was giving his spot away but that was the explanation that we got. Is it a good one? Kinda. It makes sense character wise but logically it still doesn't make too much sense. So the overall explanation is that Cody Rhodes agreed that The Rock versus Roman should happen and Cody was just going to have to bite the bullet. But once The Rock started to mention that his family was the greatest wrestling family in history, Cody had had enough. The Rock then starts to get on Seth Rollins and calls him the clown emoji, calls him a walking clown show, says he has no idea why Seth Rollins is getting involved in this, but because he's the boss, he can put Seth's title on somebody else. Now, aside from the whole walking clown thing, I am glad that The Rock didn't bury Seth like he really could have. It seems like Seth is kind of the odd man out just because he really doesn't have anything to do with this exact storyline. Like I know he's got his history with Cody and I know he's got his history with Roman, but there is no real reason that he should be this protective over Cody, considering they literally hated each other upon Cody's arrival. Not to say I don't want Seth in this position, him and Cody are actually carrying the whole feud on a weekly basis. And he's also got another feud with Drew going on, so he's kind of getting pulled in two directions. Now this promo gave me enough information for me to make a decision, and I believe this was not always the plan. How could it be? They were literally setting up for CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. That was going to main event night one of WrestleMania. And speaking of that, The Rock wasn't done here. So later on in the day, to open up SmackDown, Roman Reigns after a nine minute entrance finally enters the ring and he's asking for acknowledgement now admittedly the glendale arizona crowd was not that loud for roman so he proceeds to do the acknowledge me two more times in order to get a bigger reaction he doesn't get the reaction he's looking for and he decides he's gonna leave but paul Heyman stops him and says no the rock will be here in just a few moments so we cut to commercial and after a six minute entrance from the rock we get another promo. Man, so after going in on that Glendale crowd, The Rock then challenges Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins to a tag team match as most of us suspected. However, there are a few stipulations. 
If Cody and Seth win, then Cody faces Roman on night two of WrestleMania, and the Bloodline will be banned from the match. And if The Rock and Roman win, then the Bloodline will be allowed ringside, and they are also allowed to do whatever they want. Now, the stipulations of these matches are pretty interesting because after Solo's interference last year, there was a lot of talk of, well, why wasn't the Bloodline banned from the match in the first place? Now, it seems like they're rectifying that and also adding a bit more entry. And the last major thing to note throughout all this, Roman looked like he had quite an issue with The Rock kind of coming in and getting the reaction he got and also taking the spotlight. During this entire promo, The Rock did most of the talking, if not all of it, and it looked like the entire time it was just rubbing Roman the wrong way. So The Rock goes for his signature catchphrase, if you smell and Roman stops him. He says, you know I'll do anything for my family, but I need you to do me a favor. And he's asking him as a cousin. Roman then asks The Rock to acknowledge him. And to many surprise, he does. He did it, I saw him. So this is just a lot of foreshadowing for many storylines moving forward, and it's building so much intrigue for the product and excitement from the fans. We're still about five weeks away from WrestleMania, so I won't do predictions just yet. But man, I got some theories. So all in all, this may have not been the plan originally, but they're doing everything they can to make sure this is still a historic WrestleMania. And by the looks of it, it will be. Shout out to everyone liking and subscribing. For real, you guys are awesome. I cannot express to you how much it means to me. And for everyone who's not, do it. But that's it for today, guys. I got another video coming out either this weekend or next week. Still trying to get adjusted to a YouTube schedule. Plus, Cody Rhodes and The Rock keep doing stuff. But yeah, keep your seatbelts on. And until next time, keep it kaze.